Does this company look familiar? What about this one? Or this? They're all AI companies, just maybe not the big ones you know from Silicon Valley. The truth is the entire world is rushing to win the AI race. It's impossible to understand where AI is headed without looking at it on a global scale. That's why we asked columnists in Tokyo, New York, and right here in London to dig into the state of AI in their part of the world. The company I mentioned earlier, it's one of more than 5,000 AI companies in China, at least according to state media. The market exploded after DeepSeek, but if it's not careful, it could end up eating itself alive. Zhang Peng, who runs Zhibu AI, told me that open sourcing and making large language models affordable and accessible is especially important for taking on the AI giants. The unbelievable speed at which these so-called little dragons are doing that certainly gives China an advantage in the global race, but cutthroat competition is making it harder for even the smart startups to turn a profit. In Europe, we have a similar problem where startups struggle struggle to get the scale-up financing they need to become bigger companies. Tech giants like to blame regulators for holding the continent back, but Europe has been a great AI cop, which is crucial. But the real problem is cash. Investors here haven't embraced startups as much as they should. Perfect example is DeepMind. It was scooped up by Google 10 years ago for $650 million. That was a huge missed opportunity to create a European tech champion. America's AI giants are leading the world. But my question is, at what cost? One huge issue here is around copyright infringement. And here in the US, we could use a little bit of Europe's focus on regulation. You might recognize the group of people in this photo. It is, of course, ABBA. And their legendary songwriter is actually an AI enthusiast, although not in the same way as the people who are building it. He told me recently that he thinks it's only fair that if tech CEOs are making money from something he helped create with his music, then he should be getting a slice of those earnings as well. And so should any other creator. You see, when they make large language models for AI, they use anything they can find on the internet. Books, music, art, articles. The stakes are huge. Failure to solve this problem wouldn't just slow down America's AI growth, but it could also prove a fatal blow to some treasured industries like publishing, and Hollywood, and many, many more. China, the US, and Europe have very different approaches to AI. In the end, maybe a combination of all three would work best. The US commitment to investment, Europe's focus on safety, and China's startup energy. While it may not seem likely right now, it could help you understand the AI future that you want and the AI products that you want to support, because those are exactly the kinds of decisions by users, not companies, that matter most right now.